a lot of the people come here for the experience of the ballpark and stuff. And I was probably one of those who came for the game. It just happened in January of 2008. Uh, the scoreboard operator was vacant. And it was quirky enough that it seemed like it would be real interesting. Something, you know, out of the ordinary. And I love it. I'm sort of a numbers guy, probably I should be like an accountant or something, but I like all the statistics stuff, you know, I mean, I used to keep track of the weather, I follow the first pitch, if it's a ball or a strike, I'll note date that, and then you just sort of see how the game is flowing, and it's just, you know, the more things that you can put in your scorecard, the better. Hmm. People often wonder what it's like behind on the other side of the wall, because you can only see the big blue monster from this side. There's a little wooden port, and then you'll see all the numbers, uh, one through nine, lined up right along the inning. So those are the numbers that I would put in as if a team scores a run. And if you're at the ballpark, you can see that the windows nine and ten for those innings are open. And I appear at the game from left field uh, through those little windows out there. Not many frills, you know, it's a no-frill flight, but, uh, but it's a lot of fun, not too bumpy. It's uh, soundproof behind the Blue Monster, so you really can't hear very much of the game back there. So I actually listening to the game on the radio and have a headset connected with the press box in case there are times when I would make an error. But that's not very often. <laughs> People ask you, you know, do you think you continue to do this? At the beginning of the season, I'm very pumped up about it. I was like, yeah, well, absolutely. Come June and July, when it gets to be about 100 degrees behind the Blue Monster, you sort of wonder what you're doing, especially on the you know 10-day homestand. Um, but as the season uh, end of the season approaches, with Labor Day and the playoffs in sight, you sort of get that you know, oh my gosh, there's only a few more games left, and uh, you know it just takes a few months of the winter with no baseball. Run! Out of here! When they contact you to ask if you're still interested, uh, you know. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to come back. <laughs> Isn't that pretty good?